Well, good morning, ladies and gents. All right, so I've done some videos uh, and I've talked about lockers, but I said that, you know, sometimes they're a pain in the ass when they drop, all this good stuff, but I never have actually um, gone through. I got time today, so I figured we're gonna drop one and show you how to fix it. So, all right. When you have the two splines on your shaft, that means you have a locker inside. It's an axle lock. It means both tires are going to spin at the same time, not a differential lock that, you know, locks both axles in. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do, just like always, is we're going to take our washers off, put them nicely somewhere. Oh, give me a call. I'm going to do that real quick and then take these wedges off and then put my gasket. Well, as you can see, everything looks wonderful in this hole and everything will slide through appropriately all the way across. Let's fix that. Well, not fix it. We're, we're gonna break it. You see this here? This bolt is holding a locker that hinges here and coming in, okay? And that's what we've got to slide into. So we're gonna take that bolt out and drop this thing and then fix it. All right, you see how we don't have a perfect circle now? That's because that locker is now dropped, okay? Okay, so what's happening now is you're not gonna be able to, sometimes, but not all the time, you're not gonna be able to reach your axle down and be able to pick that locker up on the end to be able to slide it in. So what we have here, just a regular old broomstick. Now, I gotta admit, when I started this stuff, I, I didn't know shit. And uh, I thought I knew a little bit. And then uh, I was actually on my very first load by myself and I thought it was just broken or something. And uh, I called and uh, of course, Dave Skeen said, you're an idiot and uh, grab a broomstick, blah, 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 stick it in there, prop it up, everything's good, go. Yeah, I had to learn the hard way and eat some crow. I always listen to people, everybody, because somebody has ran into a situation and they figured out a way to get out of it. And that's why. But anyhow, okay. So, all right. So we're gonna take our broomstick and we're gonna go in. Okay. And then we're gonna push it down, okay? I take the axle lay on there because it holds it up and then a lot of times if it's already dropped you have to back that out and then i tighten up the bolt which is a 5 8 bolt so hold on this takes a while and as you can see it's not focusing but anywho now we've got her back up straight locked in let's put her axle in Not very good video. Anywho, so I got the end of the deal. Now all I gotta do is pick it up, pop it in, twist it a little bit. <coughs> Bob's your uncle. We're done. That's how you fix a drop blocker. Yeah, by the way, I didn't even tell you this, but I have told you before. You see these wedges? They go in first. Then the watch. And then your nut. Now, you see how that's got two sides? The flat side is the one that goes in. I realize that was probably a little kindergarten for most of the people watching this video. So, but I wanted to say, just in case there's nobody who's ever done this also to clarify you don't have to have this side out to be able to do that i just went ahead and took the cover off and everything that way you could see all the way through there and see the locker actually being down on to the next trick you see how these aren't quite lined up they uh they're just not well i'm not tough enough actually some of them are but some of these are just super tough so, 
to adjust you up. Just double check. So, that, nope, not gonna happen. But I got this here wrench. Now, I'm gonna put it over here in the drive line. And I'm gonna spin it just a little bit. And in, pop, there she goes. Um, for those who don't know, these are drive lines, U joints. This is actually your differential. That's what up there, what locks the axles in together so they both turn at the same time. So, all right, that's enough fun facts for the day. I can beg it to work. All right, so after we get that done, everything in, took the bolt out. That's trash. Okay. These fittings are usually with the keys on Kenworths and then on uh, freight liners. They usually stick them back in the hose that attaches to it. So get that back out of the way. So you just go ahead and screw the fitting back in there. And then I'll tighten it up. And then you put the hose on there, tighten all that up. Freight liners, you still have to clip the uh, thingy in there or the electrical to it. Um, but yeah, so there's, all right, so there's also a few different ways. This is my way of doing it, just with the broomstick. If you have air, you can also hop up in the cab and flip a switch a lot of times. Actually go ahead and hook it up and it'll lock it up and uh, then you can put it in. Um, there, there's just different ways that you can do it, but this is my way and it's the easiest way because if you don't have air, you don't have the trucks able to do it, and I don't know. So, anyway, go back to undecking. It's really, really nice. It's only like 64 degrees out here. I love it.